Oh, well, sorry to make you wait because no I'm sure it's been a really horrible afternoon for you, even though you got driver of the day and fastest. They race. ruined this race! Today. Was the win there for you? Bad strategy! Bad mechanics at the pit stop! Ferrari suck! Position. This guy is the ultimate Netflix Sigma male. Uh, the win, I think Max was pretty fast and, and perfect out there. So starting last is not like you can beat Max. But um, but yeah, it felt like a good recovery, a fast uh, pace. I think if without the penalty, we would have started on pole or in the first row like we could have done yesterday. The win would have been definitely. What possible, did I but, say? Um, we're starting 19th and, and how the pit stop went and how everything turned out to be. Uh, finishing P5 and what they say right now? Slap is, it's okay, I'm gonna take it, but I believe that with a perfect race, we could have been a bit There are lots of things to talk about, but it essentially comes down to teamwork and strategy and course, I said it? Because they, they spoke to you on the radio when you were in the middle of the overtake. There were calls to box, and you said, Oh, I want to stay out. When you did box, it was an unsafe release. There seems to be a lot there that, that, that needs to be solved, if you like. That, that needs to be taken into hand if you're to be given a fair fighting chance. I think the, the team is doing a very good job on strategy this year. I still believe at Ferrari we get super criticized for, for things that uh, other teams might be going through also in their in their pit stop swingles and and every time there's a moment, a tricky moment on strategy, we are discussing things, but we are not a disaster like people seem to seem to say we are. It's just we like to discuss things, we are open about them. Yes, I was in the middle of an overtake, but I think that if that was the right lap to stop and come back through the field, um, I believe that maybe at the time it was maybe better to risk it and stay out and see what happens with the tires, even if it was a medium tire on the limit of the life. But I had just made it to P3 and I saw a podium position that I said, if I make these tires last, maybe I can finish on the podium. But uh, we will never know. It's, uh, it was a feeling the team has a lot more data on the on the computer, they have a lot more numbers to go through and if they took that decision I'm The team made a mistake. Never commit to Ferrari like that. Uh, we need to keep progressing and we need to analyze everything and see how we can be better, but I'm convinced the team is doing a, a good job there. Just finally for me, would you have wanted to stay out and take the five second penalty at the end or was it the right call to come and take it? My point of view was that if I couldn't pass Checo I would box because and before uh, there's nothing really going on and I cannot pass Checo, let's try and box and come back. The moment I passed Checo, I was like, okay, P3, let's see if I can pull away five seconds and, and make it to the end with his tires. At that stage, uh, our numbers said that it's possible to make it to the end. Uh, plus the five second penalty, you risk even losing position to Fernando or whatever. So uh, I think took it. To play it safe, we knew P5 plus fastest lap is good points, and we took the P5 plus fastest lap. Uh, in the moment, maybe my feeling was different, but uh, until I don't see the numbers and everything is impossible for me, I think we will never know what would have been the best. Still a great job. Thank you. Science. Thank you.